Hello everyone, welcome back to Lave Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We last left this cargo space plane stranded on the surface of Lave because it has no control, because Bill is over there in the rover, and Bill was the only thing providing control for us. So we are going to need to bring the station into orbit around Lave to help relay it, but the station has to first do its science around the other moons of Jewel. So that's what we're going to get to right now, and hopefully then this can be relayed by that, and then, because it does have a uh, control core here, it's just that the control core doesn't have a ComNet connection right now, and with that, uh, we will be able to get this off of the surface and back on its way home. So that's the idea, but first let's do the science. So, let's see where our station is at. It's still not in Jewel SOI, it's still approaching, but we're gonna leave everything here, including Bill in the rover, and we are going to control the station module. The station module does have two people, Theocock Kerman and Ferber Kerman. They're actually supposed to be here, unlike Bill, <laughs> they, because they're doing science. Let's make sure uh, this, uh, I guess we haven't done the orbital survey around Kerbal. I don't know if it's worth anything. It says running six minutes. Okay, now it's ticking down. Okay, there's the big dish that will relay us, hopefully. Uh, we should just jettison this stage, I think. Okay. And now we are on the two nuclear engines, the nerves. Okay, let us proceed into the dual system. Okay, well, we'll transmit that. Uh, well, that's more, more power than we've got, but... Ooh... Well, we transmitted some of it, I guess. We'll have to wait until we recoup. Oh, it's lost all power. No, wait. Nothing's on. It's got big solar panels. Oh, we're edge on. Uh, I think we're rolling slowly. You know, by now, they could rotate and track this. There we go. I mean, like, you should be able to do better now. Still requires 3,000, though. Why does this 96 have to be 1,740? Okay, now on to the dual system. Well, our primary goal here is science first. We need 6,000. That'll get us the Mark III parts. Okay, we've got some science here entering Jewel SOI. There we go. Oh, okay, okay, that's too high. Well, that's high enough. That'll be alright. Okay, on towards Jewel. Where is Jewel? Also got samples that'll have to be returned. Well, the space plane could theoretically dock... No, no, I don't remember if we put a docking port on the space plane. We'll need to put a dock port on well I think maybe we did uh, but I don't think we have the small docking port on here that we need for it but later on we could have a space plane take this stuff back but maybe not this space plane not our first space plane but we need a docking module on here that uh, deals with smaller docking ports instead of just these big ones ah there's Jewel okay and more sciencey things Okay, ignition. We just need flybys. Maybe we should start with Paul, but then that's not quite good for Paul. Maybe I should have kept it higher up so that our nodes would be still higher up. Um, we could probably get Tylo to help us out with practically everything. We could get that number two over to here. Oh, okay, so... What do we want Tylo to do to us? <laughs> In this case, I think I want to go up. That's a lot of inclination, though. We'll fix that up here. But if we wanted to get to Paul next... Well, that's a low... Okay, I've, I've, got, I've got Tylo giving us a Paul-like inclination, so that's okay. I think that 
should be an encounter almost. Okay, there we have a Paul periapsis after a tyloperiapsis. The tyloperiapsis is pretty high. But we're just grazing it for a boost. And we're gonna do a correction of 38 meters per second. Yeah, and we're ending up like this. So I don't know, I don't know what our path is after we do this correction, actually. After the Paul PE, it's not showing us, so we'll have to be careful. Okay. So, out to the correction, which is in three days. Ah, uh, it only... Oh, it's 1,800. See, the type is tough. I thought it was 1,000. It's 1,800. Okay. Let's try that again. Hopefully it'll recharge fast enough. Okay, I think we got it. All right. Continuing. Hopefully along the way in this, we'll complete the tech tree. Not just from this, but... Presumably after we establish a lathe base, we'll get all sorts of science from the dual system. Maybe lathe alone will be enough, maybe it won't. But if we land like a space plane all around lathe, then we should be able to pick up some extra science, right? Okay, we've got that Paul periapsis. Okay, then it's not getting any better. So, passing by Tylo, alright. If we weren't passing by Tylo, we'd be in trouble with Jewel because that's going to be in Jewel's atmosphere. But Tylo is going to keep us out of it. And let's see what science we get. Okay, there's Tylo. Our solar panels are well powered. Okay, this is the 1800, so it's important that they still have power. Okay, passing by... I don't think we'll get low over Tylo or anything. There's another Tylo periapsis here. <laughs> um, that might be after Paul though. Okay, no, but I, I'm avoiding it. Paul was pretty bumpy. I think 30 kilometers will be fine, hopefully. 5 meters per second. Don't know which vessel is out of communication range right now. Maybe it's the space plane and it was already communicating through this. Oh, the cargo shuttle is out of power. Well, it's probably in nighttime or something. There's Paul. Okay, science in progress. This costs a lot of units of power, but it actually isn't that much science. These things need to recharge us faster. Okay, hopefully we'll get some low science here. Apparently not. Apparently that was not close enough. It was still high. Shoot. Oh well. A little bit late to correct on that. Next target. Bop. Well, we're 10 degrees off from Bop. Bop is really off from the rest of the system. Uh, maybe over at 2 over there? Oh, wait, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with Tylo there. I wish I could do that, but let's go over. To the, I think number 2 is coming together nicely. So that's not going to be a great bop periapsis. It's hard getting low over these things. There's a Tylo PE there. Um, look, I, I, I see a bop periapsis. I just want that. Okay. I see multiple bop periapses. This is a problem. I don't know which one's first. They're both the same time. What? Uh, okay, well, I think that one's outside. This one's inside. Oh, we're crashing into it. That's excellent. Okay, so 109 meters per second. Well, I don't want to make the same mistake we did with Paul. Let's try and get close. We seem to be able to get arbitrarily close. But it's tough. No, well, I mean, we're crashing there. So, anything lower than that is probably dangerous, right? Okay, so in 19 days we do that maneuver once we get all the way up there. And then we'll get a Paul encounter. And it looks like we're avoiding the Tylo encounter, maybe? Now, one... 
important thing is that when we do launch the cargo shuttle off of Lathe if we can, uh, we need to make sure that our turn trip is all set up while we're in Lathe SOI. So, because otherwise it's going to lose communication along the way back from Lathe to Kerbin. And so we can't do a mid-course correction. So that is going to be difficult. Again, if we lose the cargo shuttle, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. We have no budget. <laughs> so... My favorite mantra for this version of Kerbal Space Program 2, we have no budget. <laughs> the most important thing to keep in mind. When we get to Lathe, we can't aerobrake with this, so that's an important thing. Okay, bop periapsis. Ooh, okay, we're crashing. Um, oh, let's try and go the opposite direction and not crash. Okay, 128. Uh, we'll go over there and fix it once we get into bop SOI. This should set us up so that we can get a Tylo encounter to bring us down. So... Don't about the inclination part. It should be okay. We never corrected our inclination to match bops. We're just encountering it at one of the nodes. So we're mostly in line with the rest of the system because we never lined up with bop. It's gonna be a quick encounter though. Hopefully we'll get enough science. Okay, 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 okay. Um, radial in. No science? What? Did we do this already around Bob? No, we couldn't have. We haven't sent a science lab around here. Maybe the radi that was just the radiation one. I think we did send the radiation experiments here. That's probably as close to Bob as I want to get. Another 1,800 units to get 96 science. Uh, maybe the science lab isn't worth it, I don't know. Seems like a lot of power. But uh, we only get like 120 science points. It says 96 here, but it gives us 120 when it's all done. We've got 2,000 worth in samples, though. Okay, hopefully we are not crashing into Bob. <laughs> Getting awful close here, but didn't say we were on a crashing trajectory, so we have to trust it, right? We are in the limited time warp zone, but we're not getting any extra science. The science lab doesn't do science at low altitude. That still says high orbit though. We're pretty darn low for high orbit. We're only 25 kilometers above the surface. Oh well, I guess we're not gonna get low over here either. But yeah, I'm not getting any closer than that, so. Okay, time for the next setup. See, now this doesn't look too bad. Our encounter w with Leif would be like there. We're sort of skipping Val again. Um, maybe we'll try to encounter Val some way, but we're not getting low over Tylo with this. I guess we'll just take it. We have an option to pass by Tylo again like this, but right now we're just doing a glancing blow. But 68 to get us that much lower is probably a good deal. Okay, well, that's basically what we were looking for. And again, we're sort of encountering Tylo off to the side there, so that's one reason why we're not getting the optimal situation. Okay, so there's just a uh, orbit adjustment pass by of Tylo. We're not doing science here. Oh, we're only ta tangent to Val. Whatever happened to... I thought we were tangent to Lathe. We're only tangent to Val. I guess we're going to Val after all. Okay, maybe we should target Val then. I mean, I was intending to get to Val anyway. Okay, we're perfectly in line with Val. It is our target. Let me just clear target, set target. We're tangent to Val. Gosh darn it, game. We should have some sort of indication that 1A, 1B, 2B, 2A, 2B. You've done that for all the other moons. Why do you hate Val so much? I'm not accepting this. <laughs> I, I don't want to do this blind. I can, but I don't want to do this blind. So I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna go to the Space Center and come back. Okay, while we're here, we might as well see how we're doing on the technology. 
We've got 3,638. So we're still shy of the 6,000. We need, we need 2,400 more. Now we've got 2,000 worth of samples in uh, sitting on the station, but we'll need to bring those back, of course. All right, back to tracking station. Nope, maybe it's just a little bit off. <laughs> Let me see. Let's let's create a maneuver. Right? No. It's okay. Set a target now. Okay, now now it's showing. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I wanted. Now, did we need to do that? I guess we might as well. Or maybe if we do a maneuver here. Nope. Okay, we were like three meters per second off. Okay, hold on. There's the Tylo. Uh, yeah, I, I think trying to get Tylo in on this is probably just going to hurt. Okay, so there we've got Val trying to get us to leave potentially. We'll have to make an adjustment, but Val periapsis 45, so pretty close, but will it be good enough for the low orbit science? I don't know. At least the new orbit system seems to make things a little bit easier to understand compared to last time I tried to do maneuvers around the dual system. I just stopped it, like, when it was just barely above the surface, I thought, but... Okay, let's try and adjust now. Okay, well, 28 kilometers and it says we're not crashing. Hopefully that'll get us the low signs. Let's go over to Val. Okay, please do the signs. There's Val. And hopefully we're safe at this altitude. 28 kilometers there. It's just, uh, where's the lighter one? That one. Let's transmit that first. Okay. That's the, the, whatchamacallit, radiation measurement is worth a lot more than what the science lab provides. Uh, at least as far as, yeah, I mean, even when you sum up the survey data and survey samples, radiation experience is a pretty good deal. I don't know why the science lab is so weak. It said it had everything in it. Okay, we've got low over, I think. Yeah, lowlands. Low over the lowlands. At least Val is sort of smooth. We gotta get enough time? Okay, we got enough time to get the low over Val for the science lab, or whatever you want to call it. Orbital survey data. Okay, now that we're in daylight, Oh, uh, why are we not recharging? Wait a second. Oh, is that this still the same thing where the solar panels are facing the sun in the dual system, but we don't get pa Oh, wait, no, stop. Why are you turning? Don't turn. They're not turning to face the sun. Let me just retract them and extend them again. Okay, now we're recharging. All right. Just need a little bit more power so that we wouldn't run out of power every time we did this. Okay, but we do finish it anyway. Okay, so we've got that. We're headed out of the Val system and we want an encounter with Lathe. We want it to be a nice encounter with Lathe. Should be possible to get something. We're in line with Lathe. Got a tangency with Lathe. It's just a matter of time. Are we? No, we're going both... I don't know which way we're going around. Because it's got one U going one way and one U going the other way. It's got two periapses. <laughs> oh no, make up your mind. Okay, but anyway, we've got an encounter. We'll see which one we actually get. One is probably earlier than the other. That one's two days, that one's four days. Okay. Which way is it going around? 
I don't know. Uh, it seems like the four-day one gets the little circle thingies. The two-day one doesn't. I need the two-day one, but it's not showing me which way around we're going for the two-day one. Presumably it's the other way from the four-day one, but it's not certain certain. Okay, so that one I would naturally think is in, so that's going out, right? And then this one's out, coming in, and so we're going counterclockwise, and that's okay. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, we, well, I would prefer it to be prograde, because the shuttle rendezvousing with it, we would rather have the shuttle launch prograde than retrograde. Let's get it to a safer height. Okay, 100 kilometers. Let's see. Are we going the right way? And we want to be able to get into a nice low orbit with our 1,597 meters per second. I think we're going clockwise. No, we're going counterclockwise. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Still 107 kilometers up. There's Lathe. We finally made it here. Oh, uh, we might as well do the signs. Yeah, obviously. Oh, but I should plot and see how much it actually takes to capture. I don't expect it to take much to capture. We're really close to Leif's orbit right now. Capture's not a problem. It's like a hundred. Getting to low orbit, also not a problem. We're fine. And that's good. I want to have some extra fuel around here to help other missions out. Yep, those samples would cover us. As far as the 6,000 I wanted was concerned. Uh-oh, we're not getting power here. Um, are we still in the dark? No, we're not still in the dark. It's still having that same problem. Okay, well, I'm gonna retract the panels and extend them, but that could be problem. Oh, wait, we're time warped. Maybe I should just F5 and F9. Turn it off and on again. Come on, track the sun. Track the sun. They're not tracking the sun, are they? Clearly not. Okay, I'm gonna F5 and F9. Still don't think they're turning to track the sun. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we can run the engines a little bit. We're pretty close to our maneuver node, at least. But that's not how we're supposed to be doing it over over here. Oh, now it's tracking the sun. Why? Why weren't you tracking the sun earlier? It's been there the whole time. Uh, well, yeah, there's some glitchiness about the solar tracking, that's for sure. Okay, we've done all the science. At least from high orbit. We've got new science to do in low orbit. Low orbit is much nicer around here. Why is the maneuver like that? But it's definitely a retrograde maneuver. It's not supposed to be a radial maneuver. Yep, I don't know why the maneuver ended up being radial. Definitely not supposed to be. Loading somewhere messed it up. Okay, capture burn. Well, actually, orbit lowering burn, mainly. We've... We will capture very quickly. Okay, the science. Let's transmit the radiation part. Okay, well, I don't want to bring it too low on one end. So, 
Well, we're, we're in okay orbit for now. I can round it out later on. I wanted to see if our cargo shuttle could communicate with us, so let's control. Oh, oh, that's the that's the rover. The cargo shuttle's over there. Okay, it can communicate now. We have full control. But it's not the right time to come back from Leif, I don't think. So we're going to have to see when that is and whether we need to launch more missions. Uh, the Kerbin to Jewel transfer window might come before the uh, the Jewel to Kerbin transfer window. So we'll have to see whether we're launching missions next time or bringing this back next time. I'm not sure. But for now, we can communicate with our station. The station is in orbit around Lathe. And so we're in good shape, except the rover is a little bit wacky. And, uh, well, we'll have to see. Hopefully it's still alive. How are we? Bill is still fine. Bill will be stranded here. But Bill's got RTGs, so no problem there. So, with that... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.